Hey there all the students find this chapter very interesting as we study about the globe which is a model of the earth by the end of this chapter you will be able to explain how a globe serves as a model of the earth explain what lines of latitude and longitude are list their main features and differentiate between the two and locate places on the globe using the global grid the earth as you know is round but when you look around you it appears to be flat isn't it in fact long ago everyone believed that the earth was flat they believed that if we travel to the edges we would fall off now do you know why does the earth appear flat to us well this is because the earth is so much bigger than us we can only see short distances at a time to see the curving surface of the earth you would have to climb very high into the sky for example if you were to fly into the sky in a rocket you would soon be able to see the earth curving away into the distance now before we start let me tell you a quick story ferdinand magellan he was a portuguese sailor who set out on a journey from spain to sail around the world he died on the way but his ships and crew they continued the voyage they sailed in a single direction and after 3 years they came back to the place from where they had started this is very surprising for me but i'm sure you are a smart chap and you very well know the reason why if so can you please tell me the reason in the comments below now the earth as we know is huge early travelers and explorers found it difficult to find their way across the earth with just the sun moon and stars to guide them they felt the need for tools that would help them locate places accurately two important tools developed for this purpose are globes and maps in this chapter we will learn about globes there is a very interesting fact about globes to remind me to tell you it in the end of this chapter now let's continue learning about globes A globe is a small model of the earth can we say that it shows us the shape and location of the continents countries oceans and seas as they are on the surface of the earth in a smaller size a globe like the earth turns around a line passing through its center this line is called axis The axis is not straight. It is tilted just like the earth's axis at an angle of 23 and a half degree from the vertical. The two end points of the axis of rotation are called the poles. The one at the top is known as the north pole and the one at the bottom is known as the south pole. If you stand at the north pole all directions point south there is no east or west similarly if you stand at the south pole all directions point north there is no east or west midway between the poles is an imaginary line circling the globe it is called the equator it divides a globe into two halves called the hemispheres to the north of the equator is the northern hemisphere and to the south of the equator is the southern hemisphere now get your globes we would do an activity first rotate the globe now observe the movement of different points on it now mark the two points that do not move These points that do not move are the two poles. 
and the line joining the poles passing through the center of the globe is the axis of rotation of the globe lines of latitude and longitude are marked in degrees and minutes 60 minutes equal 1 degree Lines of latitude are imaginary lines that run parallel to the equator in the east west direction. Now let's see the features of latitude. Lines of latitude run parallel to each other and are therefore known as parallels. Equator is the line of 0 degree latitude. The latitude of a place tells us how far north or south a place is from the equator. For example, a place with a latitude of 45 degrees north is located in the northern hemisphere, midway between the equator and the north pole. A place with a latitude of 60 degree north is further north. The north pole is 90 degrees north and the south pole is 90 degrees south. Next feature of latitude is that Lines of latitude are at an equal distance from each other. All of them form complete circles except the north and south poles which are points. The parallels decrease in length as we move from equator to the poles. Now there are 180 degrees of latitude altogether. How? 90 degrees in the northern hemisphere and 90 degrees in the southern hemisphere. Got it? Now let's see some important lines of latitude. Other than the equator and the poles, there are four other important parallels. These are the Tropic of Cancer at 23 and a half degrees north, the Arctic Circle at 66 and a half degrees north, the Tropic of Capricorn at 23 and a half degrees south, and the Antarctic Circle at 66 and a half degrees south. Now let's see all of them together. Nice. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Next is lines of longitude. They are known as meridians. The longitude running through the Greenwich near London is marked 0 degrees. It is called the prime meridian. Now let's see the features of lines of longitude. The longitude of a place tells us how far east or west of the prime meridian the place is located. They are semicircles that run from one pole to the other pole in a north to south or south to north direction. They are spaced farthest apart at the equator and come together at the poles. There are 360 degrees of longitude, 180 degrees of longitude in the east of the prime meridian and 180 degrees of longitude west of the prime meridian. This is the longitudinal extent of India. Tropic of Cancer and Standard Meridian pass through which states of India do you know that? Find out and comment below. The 180 degree east and 180 degree west meridians meet and form a single line on the opposite side of the prime meridian. It is called the 180 longitude or the international date line. Now let me tell you something interesting. The date becomes one day later as one travels across the international date line in the western direction and one day earlier as one travels across it in the eastern direction next is the global grid the parallels and meridians cut each other at right angles to form a grid on the globe this is known as the global grid if we know the longitude and latitude of a place we can locate it accurately on the global grid for example The location for New Orleans is 30 degrees north latitude and 90 degrees west longitude. Find out the location of your school on the global grid and comment below. Now as promised here is your bonus fact. 
the largest globe in the world is called Artha. It is located in Yamut in Maine, USA. It is a three-dimensional scale model of our Earth. It shows mountains and other landforms in 3D and measures 41.5 feet in diameter. It rotates and revolves just like the Earth does. Now can you believe it? We just completed the chapter. Till we meet next, study smart, make healthier choices, help others and keep shining bright. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye-bye for now. Have a good day.